want to speed the limit here is? Uh, I don't see any sign, so I assume it should be 15 by default. Yeah, there was a sign there, it said it's 60. So okay. you, you want to try and get going because you are holding up traffic. Say anything to you, you are supposed to follow the road. Oh, okay, I thought. Okay. Shall I take a U turn? Yeah, just go in the U turn at the end. Oh, you have, you have to speed up. Just push the accelerator down. It's, it's getting stuck. It's 100, it's 100, keep going. <laughs> no, no, we have to go, we have to go. We have to go. Yeah, Are you pressing it. it? Yes, I'm pressing it. Just we have to go. We have to go. Keep going. Keep accelerating. That's it. In this mock driving test, we have Pronit, and he's going to be driving around the Casodine area as he prepares for his actual practical driving test. I'll talk about some of the good things that Pronit does and also point out any driving errors as they happen. The driving errors are categorized into non-critical errors, critical errors and also specific repeated driving errors. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing for more driving related videos. Let's get into the mock test. So did you have any questions before we begin? Uh, I guess no questions. Mm -hmm. Do you know how long the actual test lasts for? Oh, half an hour, 40 minutes? Mm. Yeah, so around 30 minutes. Mm. So we actually gonna go for the same as well. Mm. So um, when we're driving down the road and I'm not saying anything to you, do you know where you're supposed to go? Uh, straight, just straight, if you don't say anything. So, so yeah, follow the road. Yeah. Or maybe you need to be directed by road signs okay. and signals and road markings. Okay. Okay. But otherwise, I'll be telling you to turn right, turn left. But if I'm not saying and if I'm not saying anything to you, you have to be the one to figure out where you need to go. Okay. But uh, so, uh, I mean, let's say if I take a left without you saying it's it's not a problem. No, it's no. not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Just as long as you're following the the signs, oh, no, no, no. Uh, the signals, and all the road markings. Okay. 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 Um, now, before we begin, can I get you to turn off the car and then just put the car, the ignition on, but don't power the car on, just the ignition only. Not quite. So the way you do that is you you don't press the brakes. So turn that off again. Okay. Turn off. Oh. So okay. don't press the brake and push the power button two times. Okay. This is anything. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, and then can you also put your window down for me? Okay, that's fine. And put it back up. Then maybe press that button again that you just pressed. Oh, this one, the lock press. Okay. Um, and then now whenever you're ready, turn the ignition on. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna turn off this air car. Um, yeah. It's a bit hot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think just that because it's not making the sound, it's... <laughs> Mm, it's a bit different. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask you maybe two or three questions about the car. Yeah. At the start of the mock test, I asked Pronit some pre-test questions and he answered them correctly. Where is the hazard lights? Hazard lights. Okay, that's fine. And then where are the front and the rear demister? Front and rear demister. Yep. Front and the rear. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and where is the air conditioning button? 
it is the air condition button. You can make it auto or on off. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's all the pre test questions that I'm gonna ask you. Uh, just give me a second. I'm ready when you are. Okay. When leaving the car park and we want to turn left, we have to indicate left. Pronit does not indicate leaving the car park. And then turn right. And then turn left. Good left turn. And then left again. Again, Pronit does a good left turn. At the end of the street, we have to turn left to enter the main road, which means we have to indicate left. Pronit indicates, but he indicates left. This is a non critical driving error. When merging to the right, we have to check our mirrors, indicate, and also do a shoulder check. Pronit does not do a shoulder check. At the roundabout, follow the road, second exit. We've just entered a main road, and Pronit is driving too slow for the condition, which is a non critical driving error. When going straight at the roundabout, we only need to indicate left when leaving the roundabout. The speed limit on this road is 60 km per hour and Pronit is doing 40 km per hour for no reason. This is a non-critical driving error. I actually had to ask him to speed up because he was starting to hold up traffic. So Pronit, do you know what the speed limit here is? See any sign, so I assume it should be 50 by default. Yeah, yeah there was a sign there, it said it's 60. So okay. you, you want to try and get going because you are holding up traffic. At the next traffic lights, this traffic light coming, use the middle lane to turn right. At this set of traffic lights, Pronit does a good right turn. The speed limit on this road is 80 km per hour and Pronit is driving around 60 km per hour. This is a non-critical driving error. When safe to do so, change to the left lane. When changing lanes, we have to check our mirrors, indicate, and also do a shoulder check. Pronit does not do a shoulder check. Exiting left, we have to indicate left. Pronit does not indicate. After exiting left, the speed limit drops to 60 km per hour. Pronit adjusts the speed very well. After this set of traffic lights, Pronit decided to change to the left lane, but he does not do any shoulder check when changing lane. This is a non-critical driving error.
Also, for some reason, instead of Pronit following the road, he makes a left turn into a no-through road. Although this is not a driving error, most of the time the examiner won't be happy with this. So why did you turn left? Um, I just thought I'd go the same. Remember what I say, if I don't say anything to you, you are supposed to follow the road. Okay, I thought Okay. Shall I take a U-turn? Yeah, just go in the U-turn at the end. At the end of the road, Pronit does the U-turn correctly. Good left turn. And follow the road straight. Again here, Pronit does not do a shoulder check when changing lane. When two lanes merges into one lane, we have to check the mirrors, indicate and also do a shoulder check. Pronit does not do a shoulder check and because he has not been doing shoulder checks, this becomes what is referred to as a specific repeated driving error, which means the driving test will be unsuccessful. Good speed management on this road. At the roundabout coming up, turn right, take the third exit. So roundabout, turn right, take the third exit. When turning right at the roundabout, we have to indicate before we reach the roundabout. Pronit indicates, but he indicates a little bit late. He also slows down when he was already inside the roundabout, which confuses the traffic inside the roundabout. Well done leaving a safe gap between our vehicle and parked vehicles. At 
the crossroad make a u-turn at the crossroad make a u-turn yeah, I asked Pronit to make a u-turn at the crossroad and he does not know how to do a crossroad u-turn and ends up going straight instead and making the u-turn at the kill the sack this is an uncritical driving error it's not mentioned we can still take it if you're not sure how to do it you can keep to going I, I can At the crossroad, follow the road straight. Good observations at the crossroad. Here also, Pronit leaves a safe gap between our vehicle and parked vehicles. And then take the first road on your left. Good left turn. Again, Pronit leaves a safe gap between our vehicle and parked vehicles. I'm gonna get you to take the first road on your left again. Good left turn. At the crossroad, turn right. Good right turn. Good speed management on this road. Also, prone it leaves a safe gap between our vehicle and parked vehicles. End of the road, turn right. Good right turn. And then I'm gonna get you to do a reverse parallel park behind the red car. When approaching a parked vehicle to do a reverse parallel park, we have to indicate left. Prone it does not indicate. Before starting a reverse parallel park, we have to check our mirrors and also check the blind spots. Pronit does not check, which is a critical driving error. While adjusting this reverse parallel park, Pronit makes his second critical driving error. He does not stop for a vehicle which was approaching from behind and I had to intervene because if you notice, the front of the vehicle was actually getting in the path of the oncoming vehicle. Okay, move off when you're ready. When moving off, we have to indicate, check our mirrors and also do a blind spot. Pronit does not check the blind spot. At the roundabout, follow the road, second exit. When going straight at the roundabout, we only need to indicate left when exiting the roundabout. Pronit uses a right indicator when entering the roundabout, which is a non-critical driving error. At the end of the road, turn left. Good left turn. At 
the traffic lights turn left, take the slip lane on the left of the traffic lights. Correct lane choice for turning left. After turning left, continue straight. When turning left, at the slip lane we have to check the right hand side pronit does not check which is a critical driving error also after turning left pronit again does not do a shoulder check when changing lanes Right turn. Coming up is Pronit's fourth critical driving error, and probably this is the most serious mistake he made during this drive. When merging in a 100 km per hour zone, we have to use the on-ramp to speed up so that we can merge safely. Pronit does not speed up and continue to do 40 km per hour, which causes the traffic behind to take evasive actions and I had to ask him to speed up. When he does not speed up, I actually took control of the vehicle and started accelerating myself. Stuck. It's 100, it's 100, keep going. It, it, no, no, we have to go, we have to go. We have to go. Yep, Are you pressing it. it? Yes, I'm pressing it. Just we have to go, we have to go. Keep going, keep accelerating. That's this it. actually scared me a little bit because he was actually pressing the brake instead of pressing the accelerator. At the traffic lights, take the slip lane on the left. So you can take the slip lane on the left. Correct lane choice for turning left. When approaching a slip lane, we have to slow down and give way to oncoming vehicles. Pronit does not stop for oncoming vehicles, so I had to intervene by pressing the brake. This is a critical driving error. left hand and then pull over on the left when pulling over on the left we have to use a left indicator pronit does not indicate yeah. did you wanna get a little bit closer just a little bit. Just a little bit more, more closer. All right, that's fine. Whenever you're ready, you can reverse the car in a straight line. Before reversing in a straight line, Pronit carries out all-around observations. However, 
he makes a critical driving error while reversing because he does not physically look behind. More? Yeah, continue going. Alright, that will do. And then move off when you're ready. Before moving off, we have to indicate, check our mirrors and also check the blind spot. Pronit does not indicate. I'm gonna get you to take the first road on your right coming up. So the road coming Good up. Good right hand. Right. When going through a bend, we have to keep left because we actually don't know if there are vehicles coming from the opposite direction. Pronit is on the wrong side of the road and ahead to intervene. This is a critical driving error. Maybe just keep left because you don't want to be driving on the wrong side of the road at the bend. So just keep left, keep to the left. And then at the end of the road, turn right. While driving on this road, Pronit makes his final critical driving error. He exceeds the 40 kilometers per hour speed, speed limit. Forward. Good right turn. the roundabout, turn left. So that will be the first exit. Correct lane choice for turning left. Also, Pronit does a good left turn at this roundabout. And then when possible, change to the right lane. Again, Pronit changes lane without doing a blind spot check. This is an uncritical At driving error. the traffic error. light, turn right. So traffic light, turn right. Correct lane choice for turning right. Good right turn. I'm gonna get you to take the first road on your right. So there's a road, there's a road turn. Here also Pronit makes a good right turn. And then turn right. Good right turn. And turn left. Good left turn. Good speed management on this road. When stopping at the stop sign, Pronit brakes abruptly. This is a non-critical driving error. At the end, you can go right. You can turn right. Good right turn. Okay, and then left. Good left turn. 
While entering a parking spot, Pronit does not indicate right. This is an uncritical driving error. Okay, can you park the car on the right hand side for me? You can drive forward facing. So drive front in. Front in, okay. We've come to the end of this mock test and it's now time for feedback. All right, um, let me go through this and yeah. then we'll finish the session, okay? Not a fair thing. Yeah, so... What do, you, what do you think? How do you think you went with this? I think certain places uh, I went a little more slow, maybe I was too conscious to be correct and I think I do a little more slow. And in the 40 zone I rode faster. Yeah, you you have to you have to keep people moving. When you are driving on the road you're gonna keep everyone moving. Mm -hmm. um, you don't wanna get into the traffic and then hold up traffic. Because being cautious is the same as being careless. So you just keep that in mind whenever you yes. drive. And especially on your driving test, the examiner really want to see you moving. Mm -hmm. You, you mm -hmm. need to drive to the conditions. Mm -hmm. I understand if you're getting close to an intersection, so you need to slow down. Mm -hmm. But if the road is free, you have to go. You can't be doing like 40 in a 60 zone. Uh, it, it go west, of course, when we go to the motorway, you are doing 60, 80 zone. Um, in that last instance, I was not feeling safe because you were trying to do 40 kilometers per hour, merging in a 100 zone. That's very dangerous. You know why that's dangerous? Yes, because other cars would be coming on that speed. Those cars on the motorway, what speed are they doing? What do you think? 95, 90. Yeah, some of them probably over 100. So you, you can't merge doing 40 in 100 zone. Well. Did you see what the car behind you did? Mm -hmm. So we had a um, kind of a goldish car behind us. And he, he was a little bit patient. He kept being patient. And he got to a point where he couldn't be patient anymore. He had to go around us and he had to speed up. So. You have to practice your motorway mages. It was okay. too slow. So I had to press the accelerator, but you were pressing the brake instead. Okay. When you merge on the motorway, what's that left lane for? Uh, merging. You're merging on the motorway. For emergency stopping. No, it's not for emergency stopping. The on ramp. The on -ramp. Oh, why I was waiting there? When you're getting onto the motorway. Oh, through the slip road? Yeah, yeah. Because what's the cars were coming. Uh, what's the motor, what's that, the, that long, long left lane for? What do you use that for? Merging into the, or to exit the... That's for you to speed up. Okay, so to get your speed yeah, on. Okay, the on okay. ramp is to mm -hmm. speed up. Speed up. The off ramp is to, to down. slow down okay, yeah okay. yeah mm -hmm. so when you're getting onto the motorway once you are on that on ramp you have to get going mm -hmm. if you're merging in 100 zone you need to be doing around around 80 or more okay anything less is gonna force people behind you to take evasive actions of course that can be dangerous because if people have to break really hard for you that that would be a big problem Mm -hmm. So you, you have to practice making on the motor. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go through this. So the first mistake was when we left the car park. Mm -hmm. You need to indicate when you're leaving the car park. From here, I yeah. have to indicate. Okay. Yeah. While I'm still on that, also when you come back to the car park, you also need to indicate. That's okay, it's just an engine turning. Oh, okay. It's a hybrid, remember, it goes from engine to, okay. to battery, so it's okay. Yeah, when you come in to park the car, indicate right. Leaving the car park, you should have indicated left. Okay. And then the next one was... So even if no car, I still have to You indicate. have to indicate, indicate. Mm -hmm. yes. When we went out, mm -hmm. we got on, on the outside, mm -hmm. it says left turn only. Mm -hmm. You need to indicate left when you turn left there. Okay. You have to use the left indicator to turn left. Okay. 
and then with the slow speed merge it, it was a little bit too slow mm -hmm. so again use that just build up your speed there was no car coming so we needed to immediately merge mm -hmm. um, and then we kept going once you merged the road it's a multi lane road so mm -hmm. the road is actually 60 we were doing like too slow like 30 up to the roundabout mm -hmm. we need to, to try and speed up and then when you get close to the roundabout slow down yeah and then you went through the roundabout uh, by the way when you there was another mistake that I didn't write incorrect signal incorrect signal at roundabout So we did that about, I think, uh, two times. So when you have a roundabout like this, and you are going straight, mm -hmm. we don't indicate. Imagine if I'm here, this is you, and I'm here, and that's you indicating left. What are you telling me? That I'm going to go here. Yeah, and that could jump in front of you. So when you're going straight, no indicator. You're only going to need a left indicator to, to leave the roundabout. So till here I go straight and then I start indicating. And indicate, yeah, indicate. After the roundabout. Yes. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, and uh, just, just a question there. So uh, let's say I have to go through, like, let's say there's a road here. So then I indicate right somewhere here and this then This time you have to start, if you go into this exit, uh, you indicate right. Right, no, 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 let's say there was another road here, just... Uh, so the, the road is here. Second, yeah. So is then it the I, second exit or the third exit? Uh, first, second, third exit. So the first right I do indicate. a right and then while leaving I do a left. The left, yeah. Okay. You do two indicators. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Now we are coming to what we call a specific repeated driving error. Now that means it, the, if this was a test it would be unsuccessful mm -hmm. result. Okay. So you need to practice doing shoulder mm -hmm. checks when you're changing lanes and when you're merging. So when we cha we change the lane a number of times, we merge on the motorway, you just check in the mirror and you move in the steering wheel. Okay. You have to remember this this the the procedure is mirror indicate shoulder check or even if you do indicator mirror shoulder check that also works but have you, you have to do shoulder checks did i do one twice or not at all i think there was a time where you did it but in the most of the time no you, you need to do shoulder checks so that is it that is a, what they call a specific repeated driving error so this will make the test finish at this point okay this will make the results unsuccessful um, progress on the 80 kilometers per hour road so this was when we went uh, up to the traffic light we went right the speed was 80 you kept doing 60 for, a, for maybe like five seconds and then you started picking up but it, that was too late yeah that's the minor I think most of the time that would be a minor mistake but you have to just yeah. get going uh, can I ask a question here? So uh, sometimes, uh, like uh, I, I think, like initially I missed the board. So is it uh, like the? I think the GPS also shows the speed here. Is it okay to trust this? I mean, for the test. Uh, maybe not hundred no, percent. Like, yeah, to, because I mean, you know that a multi lane road, mm -hmm. if it's not marked, it's gonna be sixty. 60. Okay. Yeah. So it, unless it's not marked, mm -hmm. if it's, it's been, if it, like that road 60, you, mm -hmm. unless it's marked, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. So yes, that's usually are correct. It uses like a camera which is in here mm -hmm. to read the signs, but there are times whereby maybe if there are two signs mm -hmm. which are like next to each other, it might read the wrong sign. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you need to look, make sure you look yeah. as well. Okay. Um. We have another specific repeated driving error. Now this is... This is... When you are turning, you, you, you get into the place where you're going and then you're indicating. What's the indicator for? What's the point of indicating? 
what, what like, do you like indicate? while doing the lane change is it maybe when we're turning left or turning right why do we indicate so that people know that i'm going to turn yeah, that side we're, we're communicating for, so when you get there and you indicate it doesn't really help anyone so just make sure you're putting on the indicator before you get to the place so that's that's gonna be like 30 50 meters before you reach the place where you're going to indicate left okay, okay. And then no knowledge of crossroad U turn. Mm -hmm. This is so you go the crossroad. You asked to do a U turn. I and could do. I then, read somewhere that in Queensland, unless marked U turn, you are not supposed to do so. And the traffic, traffic lights. And traffic lights. You need to read the whole thing. Okay. Are the traffic lights okay. not not in the Crossroads. residential areas? Okay. Yeah, so it says it's illegal to do a U turn at traffic lights unless. Okay. Yeah, but in uh, in other places Crossroads. you can actually do a U-turn. Okay. So the way you do this, you position here, you mm. go straight, and then you come back. Okay. So you just need to make sure your car clears and goes to the this side of the road. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, fail to stop and wait for a vehicle during a reverse parallel park. That's yeah. when you are correcting yourself. That is actually a critical driving error. Mm -hmm. And then, too slow inside the roundabout. When you are inside the roundabout, who has the right of way? You or the cars trying to enter the roundabout? I have. Yeah, so keep going. Remember the roundabout is to keep the flow of traffic. Mm -hmm. So when you're stopping, you're actually stopping the flow. So keep, keep everyone moving. Um, too slow turning right. This is the same thing. You're turning right. You just you you have already initiated the turn, but we are going too slow. But and the, there was a car coming. It was getting close. Just once you initiate that turn, try and get away from those cars. It's it's actually safe to turn. I can see the car is a bit far, but remember how how long is it gonna be safe? That car is coming. Remember, it's approaching you. So. Um, and then this high-speed motorway merge, that, that is a critical er error because it does not speed up uh, forcing vehicle behind to take evasive actions. So this is a critical error. You need to get up to 80 before you merge. That's why you have to use that um, on-ramp to, to increase the speed. Also, will it be, I'm thinking on the test, will it be better if I take my car? Because uh, here I'm thinking, you know, I mean, I'm having to put uh, more impact to accelerate. Maybe it took some time to adjust to the car. Um, I mean, up to you. You can use your car. You can use the driving school car. It's, but, it's, it's uh, your own decision. Yeah, I will. Use the car that you are comfortable with. Yeah. If you if you if you think you couldn't have made these mistakes if you're using your own car, maybe you can use your own car. Yeah, okay. but uh, if I use my car. Uh, it's just, I mean, you uh, in the otherwise in the driving side, you'd be sitting next to me, and the people would be behind me, or it's no, you are with the examiner. Examiner yeah. sits. Uh, yeah. Just that they feel more safe because it has double control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be up to you. How you have two weeks to make up to make the decision. It's not this Thursday actually. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> uh, straight reverse. You didn't do any show that. Uh, you didn't look behind physically when you did the straight reverse. Oh, that straight line. You have to look at the back. Okay, not only here. Look at the back, like, like this? Not even the screen. You have to look at the back there. Mm -hmm. When you when you're driving forwards, where do you look? Mm -hmm. When you reverse, you look back. So it's same. Um, yeah. yeah. So that is a critical error for that. And then we exceeded the speed limit, 43 kilometers per hour in a 40 zone. Yeah, so that, that my is test is also at like 250 in the school zone. So. so that's a critical error. Uh, there was another critical error that I didn't. I forgot to write it, but. Uh, nil observations uh, sleep lane when we came off of the motorway we went left at the traffic light mm -hmm. and you just went into the sleep lane and you just turned you didn't look that is a critical error so um, yeah you need to look and maybe incorrect signal at roundabouts. Um, uh, cut the corner turning right. You know what that means? Cut that corner turning. Yeah. So 
to cut the corner turning right? Oh, I was driving the wrong lane while taking the right. So you just turn too early, that's all? So, oh, I moved in this lane instead of that. So you, you came here and you're turning right and you went like this? Instead of going like that? You need to make sure you go forward before you turn, otherwise if you cut the corner you, you're gonna impact the other lane. Okay? Anyway, that's the end. Uh, I'll just stop the recording.